we today, Julie? Today, we are in the Simi Hills, the Simi Valley Hills. We're going to take a new trailhead for you, yep. a trailhead that I haven't been on, oh my gosh, it's been decades. Yeah. It's been decades. Since you knew me. Yeah. And before that. Yeah. Because it's been a long time. So it looks all very new up here and um, I'm excited. It's called the Hummingbird Trail. It's almost a four mile loop yep. and it's also a challenging hike. So we'll see how well we do. Yeah, they say lots of steep sections. So we have our poles and we're gonna uh, yep. check out someplace new. Here we go. Today, we're gonna double up on the knees because we have a challenging hike. My one knee is definitely Right knee is a definite problem, but I'm trying to prevent the right, the left knee from becoming the right knee. So I'm gonna put both knee bows on to support my knees. Because this is not going to stop me. The Hummingbird Trail starts at the east end of Simi Valley, um, north of the city and it starts right at the entrance of where they used to film the biggest loser which was a show that we used to watch all the time the hummingbird trail in simi valley california is a challenging but rewarding 3.9 mile loop hike you'll find the trailhead on the northern section of cooner drive just before the gated entrance to hummingbird ranch you can typically find a parking spot on the street, but be sure to read the parking signs to know where parking is allowed. We recommend downloading the route of all trails before you hit this trail. We consulted our downloaded map several times during our hike. All right, what are you doing here? Got my water bottle. Besides it littering, I really want my water. Here. Watch your step. Watch for snakes, please. Yes, sir. You see it? Oh, there's another water bottle, but I'm not going to put my hand in there. Success! Okay. Here I come. Look, it was a bad knee. Mm. The best time to hit this trail is between October and May, ideally when the weather isn't too hot. Wear a good pair of hiking shoes and don't forget your trekking poles. They really come in handy on this hike. The trail involves a steep incline that rewards you with great views of Simi Valley when you reach the top. You'll get quite a workout on the way up. All right, so the park system put in a park tool for the mountain bikers that need fixing. So you've got some wrenches, you've got a Phillips screwdriver, looks like a flathead, and the whatever this one is. Oh, Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches. A different, couple different sizes. All right. So, very nice. Thank you, Park District. Boy Scout Eagle. 
So this is put in by the Boy Scout Eagle Project in August of 2021. That's really, no wonder it looks so good. And they allow you to put your bike up here and work on it. Very cool. All right, and at this point we are at the apex of the Hummingbird Loop. And all around us, this is kind of a neat place because to my left, there's views of the San Fernando Valley. Let's take a peek at that. All right, so on this 3.9 mile loop trail, it's taken us an hour and 44 minutes to go halfway. halfway. So, you know, the getting to the halfway point has been taken up the elevation. So we did like 1200 feet climb, 1300 feet climb. Plus so you had about, a, I don't know, 10 minutes stop for a phone call. Yes, we had a phone call. A little break. Yes, for my, but, uh, and my sister. Yeah, but we made it to the peak. This is the Rocky Peak area in Simi Valley. And that made me do a lot of huffing and puffing. How are you? I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm battling up. I'm getting still yeah. have a bug. Yeah. So he's off. You can tell he's off. So. Yeah, I mean I slept yeah. way longer than usual this morning. I never I never do that. So I'm still battling something. But the good news now is it's all downhill. Thirteen hundred square uh, feet the other way. Thirteen hundred square feet? No, thirteen hundred feet. <laughs> I told you I'm off. <laughs> all right. Downhill, here Down. we go. I'm scared. Oh, your knees. This, this, this. Yes. All right. But I'll be fine. I'm strong. <laughs> There's a secret cave with a secret hammock that you can reach on this hike. So you'll have to go off trail a bit to find it. If you take the loop counterclockwise as we did, the secret hammock can be found toward the last part of your hike. We opted to pass the secret place during our hike. And what goes up must come down. The hike includes an elevation gain of nearly 1500 feet. You'll descend the steep hillside on your return, and that can be quite a workout on your knees. Plan for about three to four hours to enjoy this hike. Oh. Oh. You're soaking your feet. Oh. Oh. My toes, Yeah. they were cramming against the shoe so much. I'm surprised it wasn't bloodied. Mm -hmm. I was worried my nail would fall off or something. But they're fine because I cut them. Very nice. Uh, that's my palm. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm so tired. You're yeah. so tired. Uh, okay, what's your recap of the Hummingbird Trail hike? It, in Simi Valley, let me think. It rivals Stagecoach, the Stagecoach uh, Old Trail. In what way? Uh, scenic, um, it's not as challenging. This is the most challenging. Yeah. This is a challenging hike. Yeah, they, they said on all trails it was challenging and it sure, it sure was. Oh. So, you know, it's a four mile loop and I would say kind of like the first quarter of it, that's where you're gonna get the most elevation gain going up. So you're gonna be, we were, I was huffing and puffing. Yeah, he was high. And then on the descent, that same section, that last quarter section, a lot of downhill and it's a lot on the knees. So this is one, I would recommend don't do this unless you have trekking poles. I mean, I, I think- Trekking poles, essential. and if you have yeah. any knee problems, it will affect it. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, you what wore, I did. You wore so, your knee braces. So. I wore my knee braces, which was an absolute must yeah. if you have any kind of knee problem. Yeah, let's see what else. Um, helpful to have all trails downloaded on the phone because oh, there was okay. quite a few forks in the road. So yeah. we refer to the downloaded map quite often. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see any hummingbirds. I did. Oh, you did? I saw a hummingbird. Oh, good you for you. Were okay, in front well, of there, me. I saw a hummingbird. Go. All right, you yeah. might see a hummingbird on Hummingbird Trail. <laughs> yes, yes. 
I think that's it. Yeah, water, so, lots and lots of water. Yeah, water we, for This sure. is a cool day for us. It's probably about 79, Eight. 80. Yeah. And uh, we went even though there's a nice cool breeze, we went through all our water. Yeah. And I'm going to drink some more. Yeah, because you're doing between the uphill and the downhill almost 2,600 feet yeah. total. So. Yeah. So Anyways. It was a great hike. A new a trail for Loved me. It. You've done it yeah. before. Yeah, but I didn't remember yeah. so long ago. Yeah. So. so thanks for joining us at the places where we go. 